Right, so this is probably going to be an episode, maybe, I don't know. So welcome to this week's episode of Dean's Destination. The strangest, strangest thing has just happened. I'm literally, it's the same day that I've finished filming for the VW Action Festival. I'll take this off so you can see me. And I was just sat looking through Facebook Marketplace and I saw a surfboard for sale and I thought, oh, that looks vintage. I like surfboards, obviously. So I've clicked on it and I'm, I'm looking at the pictures and then um, I read the description and it said that it had some damage on it. So I checked, I looked at the damage on the picture and as soon as I saw the damage, I thought, that's my old surfboard. And it's for sale in Doncaster, which is close to me. So I messaged the guy and I just said, is it still for sale? And he messaged me back saying, yeah, it's still for sale. I sent him a picture of the surfboard on my old Beetle, the Beetle that I showed you in a few episodes ago. <coughs> and he messaged me back saying, yeah, that's a surfboard, it's on it's on my Beetle. And I'm like, that's my old Beetle. Anyway, I've been talking to the guy and he's got my old Beetle that I showed you, I think in the first or second Nuke episode. And I've been talking to him, the Beetle's for sale. Somebody from Nuke is coming up to look at it this week. And I've just said, how would you feel if I came and bought it off you? before he got there. And he said, listen mate, it's first come first serve and he hadn't given me a deposit. So, the same day as VW Action, oh, I've got back, I've got out of the bath, and I'm driving to Doncaster now to go look at my old Beetle, which is just absolutely bizarre, all from seeing a surfboard on Facebook Marketplace. I can't, honestly can't believe it. I just, it's totally just being impulsive if I buy it. <laughs> I don't need it. In fact, I, def I definitely don't need it because I'm looking at getting a bigger van. But at the same time, I need to go and see it and I'm, and I, I'm, I'm me and I probably might end up buying it. I'll give you an update either just before I get there or just after. So I was planning on taking the dogs for a walk, like I said, but found a nail in my tire. So I've got to go get that fixed before I can do anything tonight. So that's what I'm on my way to go do now. Fortunately, the garage is literally just around the corner. And when that's done, I can start making some plans and getting out and doing tonight's stealth camp. 
I know I've done a lot of nice locations. I've been to Newquay, I've been to Santa Pod, I've done all the nice things. And I think it's about time I did some kind of supermarket or superstore car park stealth camp. Also, I need to get some practice in as well because I have probably maybe the most ambitious stealth camp coming up that anyone's done. I don't think anyone on YouTube has done this before. Uh, but I'll not spoil the surprise, I'll let you know what that is going to be later on. But yeah, it's the riskiest kind of stealth camp you can do in the riskiest place. But the highest risks reap the highest rewards, so I've got to do this one that's coming up. I'll let you know more later on. Now I need to get the band sorted. So just pulled up now and look. There's already a British gas caddy here getting some work done up on the ramp. I'm fed up of spending money getting this thing fixed. Just sods law, isn't it? Right, that's <coughs> the puncture fixed. 20 quid. What could I have bought with 20 quid? Anyway. I need to go now and get the roof rack that was on the van when I bought it and fit it back to the roof. So that's what I'm doing for now and I'll explain why in a little bit. These dark nights are really, really starting to draw in now. What time is it? Quarter to eight and it's almost dark. Uh, anyway, I drove, I got the um, I got the roof bars. I've painted one of them black. I'm gonna paint them both black so they match everything else on the van because it's blue and black. And what I need to do now is go to B&Q. I need to get there before it shuts. I think it shuts at eight. Um, I'm gonna be cutting it fine actually. But it's not a problem if I miss it, if it's shut when I get there because I'll just go in the morning because tonight I'm gonna be stopping in B&Q car park. I've not done a proper stealth camp for a while. It's been the nice places, New Quay, uh, the Santa Pod, VW Festival. So one thing that is really, really clear is that when I ever do a video that's a supermarket or a superstore car park or camping anywhere that I shouldn't be in the van, they're the ones that attract the most views. And lately the channel's not been doing very well in terms of subscribers. Watched hours is going up, but people aren't subscribing. So maybe I need to start doing some of those things again. It's a stealth camping channel, really, mainly. So maybe I need to start doing a bit more stealth camping. So that's exactly why I'm going to be in queue tonight. And I'm not too far away now from there either. <laughs> A bit of a problem, there's a barrier. That's a real spanner in I mean the, the gates, the gates are the gates. I know that a lot of boy racers were coming down here, so they've they've been there a while, I forgot they were there. But just the getting the screw in the tires just messed all my plans up for today. There is a lorry parked there though. Hmm, what I might do, there's a Pizza Hut car park just across that doesn't have any barriers. Might have a quick drive around. I do need to go to the supermarket actually. There's some things I can get while I'm here. And then I might come back to Pizza Hut. The car park was rammed, so I'm not gonna go right now. I'll go afterwards. So I've been to the supermarket and now I'm just driving back to B&Q to see if they've put that gate across. I imagine they will have done because round, round here, around Escape, which is where the B&Q is near, there are a lot of like boy races and the joyride around the car park so round here they put, they put gates on pretty much everything. But I'm going to go back down and see if they've pulled it across. If they have, 
then I'll uh, I'll have a look at Pizza Hut because I'm pretty sure that there's no parking restrictions or signage on any Pizza Huts that I've ever noticed unless the Pizza Hut shares a car park with somewhere else but this is its own car park so I don't think it'll have time restrictions on it but we'll soon find out because I'm literally just pulling in now cameras. I can't see any. Alright, so this is where I've packed for now. So there's a lorry I mentioned. The van's just here, like hidden, kind of behind it. So no one should think I were here for any reason. You shouldn't see me driving in or out. Uh, I'm not sure. But there are B&Q cars leaving now, so maybe it's there. Maybe they've just finished the shift. Maybe the gates will get put across. And maybe if I'm here, I'll get locked in. <laughs> Hiya. If I'm not pulling birds, I'm pulling dogs. <laughs> well, I'm gonna chuck everything in the passenger seat that's in the back uh, and then get everything shut up and all the lights turned off. Right, so I'm in the van now. I'm gonna get comfy. Hold tight for 10, 15 minutes, have a look around, and then I'm gonna start making something to eat because I'm hungry. Right, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes now. Can't hear anything other than boy racers exhaust backfiring and popping and... <laughs> it's just, it's really nice to be back in the van with the dogs. I've been doing things lately where they've not been able to go like new key. I wouldn't have been able to leave them in the van in the warm weather while I went out surfing. And also when I went to Santa Pod, because it's a drag strip, you're not allowed any animals, especially dogs there, just in case they run onto the drag strip. So I've been having, my mum's been dog sitting for the dogs for me. Uh, so thank you mum. But I have missed them. And it's nice to be sat here tonight with Zach and Tia. And Zach looks really tired. You tired? Yeah. Oh, you're a good boy, aren't you? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Kiss me. Hey, I want a kiss. Come on, here. And tears down here on a little folded up sleeping bag she's having some sleep as well so I'm gonna just uh, pop the blinds on the back window and just have a quick look out so see what's going off I probably won't be able to see anything don't think either you can see the front gates to see because the lorry's there so I don't think I can see if they've even been shut but not to worry I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get disturbed here so I'm gonna start making something to eat now
sitting in a stand in front of a, a lab or something and listen to the owner of the eyeball who wants Right then, so it's the first that I've had pasta bake in the van um, and I've been really impressed with everything that I've done in the oven so far, it does a really good job and as you could see, the top of that pasta bake then I'd put the Doritos and the cheese and it looks like it's cooked to perfection so I'm just going to try it now, I imagine it's absolutely awesome everything I cook in that oven's awesome and it's really really hot I would absolutely call it another success for the Go System gas oven. Honestly, everything I've done in it has been absolutely wonderful. I've done Yorkshire pudding, shepherd's pie, lasagna, pasta bake, spring rolls. In the UK, I made some spring rolls. I didn't film that. They were amazing. It really did an awesome job with the spring rolls. Yeah, and I've had a few other bits here and there. But yeah, just super, super impressed with that really 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 worth the money I think out of everything I bought for the van that is the most the biggest value for money even though it's 120 quid super super worth it anyway I'll finish this and as always I'll not make you watch me eat it all um, so I'll see you in a little bit so I don't think I've actually showed you what it looks like when the bed's made up and I'm laid in it how much room I've got um, and just how it's set up really so I'll show you now so this is me laid here and the bed obviously goes all the way across there which is where the dogs are laid now and it does feel quite high up but I can still get to everything and get in the fridge if I want I can get to everything I need and there's so much room width ways the passenger seat is pulled forward and my feet dangle off a little bit, but my feet dangle off any bed because <laughs> I'm quite fairly tall, not quite tall, fairly tall. Yeah, it's perfect and really, really cosy. And then on the morning when I just want to pop those blinds open, wherever I'm parked, I can see out and I've got a different view. And speaking of views, uh, I think we should have one final look out the uh, window before I go to sleep and see what's happening out there. It's a bit on the steamy side with all the cooking. So it's still not changed whatsoever. I'm not even sure if those gates are shut to be honest, I've not heard them shut. And I've not really heard anybody driving in or out. I wouldn't have thought the staff worked all night until the early hours of the morning. So, anyway, I've been left alone and that's the main thing. All I need to do is just get out in the morning and then just, hopefully I don't get a parking ticket. <laughs> but anyway, I think for me, I'm going to call it a night tonight and then get up in the morning. 
take these little buggers out for a walk and then I'm going to finish off the roof bars and fill you in on exactly what happened this week as well because it's the craziest story it's, it really is out of this world or I'll tell you that tomorrow mm. literally just woke up I've always slept really well in the van on the airbeds even the little thin airbeds I've always slept really well but with this mattress now I just sleep amazing I took a good sleep last night Hey, hey, show me your eyes. Attack. <laughs> See, I parked right at the back of the car park last night because there were all the uh, staff cars there. And I've just looked out now and this is quite busy. But I, uh, I tried to go to B&Q last night because I need to go get things and it was shut so I'm just going to go today and get what I need but I'm going to let it cool down in here first I've some in B&Q now just need to find where they keep all the ratchet straps and luggage straps Oh that has the hook on the end I'll get two of those But I've got what I need for now Back to the van Yeah, I painted them both. If you're going to do a job, you might as well do it right, aren't you? So they're both black now. Looking nice and neat. Time to get the surfboard on. Right, so the surfboard's on now. I, I hate ratchet straps. It's such a pain in the ass. So yeah, sadly I, I didn't buy the Beetle, but I did go back the day after after work and I bought the surfboard, which is on the roof now. That's why it's on the roof now. I'm going to be driving around with it and that's just going to just be my little keepsake and make up for the fact that I didn't buy the Beetle. Yeah, that's it kind of felt like a dream at the time, but it were real. I've got the surfboard to prove it. Who knows, maybe later on in life. Maybe I'll own it again, but I'm on, a, I'm on a different path at the moment. And I can see a light at the end of the tunnel with YouTube and my happiness. And that's what I'm going to push for. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. So yeah, get subscribing if you haven't already. Lots of people watching these videos haven't subscribed, so click the subscribe button. And I'll see you next week in a different location on Dean's Destination. Thank you very much. Bye bye.